Hey, welcome back everybody. This is another TTM video. We've got eight today to get to. Let's get right to it. We're getting autographs TTM through the mail. First one's coming from Greensburg, North Carolina, Piedmont Triad area. I was just driving through there. Piedmont Triad Airport. It's right there in that area. <laughs> There's no index cards, and there's John James, John Jacobs Jingleheimer Schmidt. He is a personalizer, as you can see. To Michael, to Michael, to Michael. John James, really great punter. You know, I'm crazy about those uh, Thousand Games Pitch Club. He's in the Thousand Punt Club. There's only 16 pitchers in baseball history to pitch in a thousand games, and there's only about 20 punters in NFL history, who have punted a thousand balls, and he's one of them. I may collect all those guys. John James. He played a long time, as you can imagine, punting a thousand times. 13 seasons, 72 to 84. First 10 with the Falcons. And three-time Pro Bowler. Led the league in punting yards four times. Really great player. Went to University of Florida and then after retirement became uh, head of the Florida Gators Booster Club for 35 plus years. He may still be in that position. That's a sweet helmet there with a gizmo and a single bar. It's been out a long time. That's the first time we've sent to him. Let's go off record and see how long it's been out. 64 days. Just over two months. 64 days. No fee for the personalizer. John James. Next up, North Houston, Texas. North Houston, Houston, Houston. There's an Aspermonte. I could tell by the index card. He always signs a couple index cards. 69 tops, 62 tops. Houston Colts. Colt 45. He was an original member, I believe, of the uh, Houston franchise. The Colts 45s and then the Astros. And the Astros Team Hall of Fame. He and his brother, both great signers. Getting up there in age. He's in his mid-80s, and I think his brother, got, uh, this index is blank, but this one's signed. His brother's a few years older than he is. Bob here's 85. Uh, hit six career grand slammers. Yeah, he's 85 and a half, and his brother, I think, is 92. Ken, who was a player and a manager in his career, got really quick return. Nine days, no fee for... Mr. Aspermonte played seven seasons with those Colts slash Astros. And he's one of those rare Brooklyn Dodgers. He's probably not here. Let's see. First season Brooklyn Dodgers. There you see it. 56. A literal cup of coffee. One game, one at bat. Went down to the minors. And when he got back, the team was in Los Angeles. Hey, guys. Guys. Hello. Hello. Hey, we're in L.A., Bob. Nine days, no fee, Bob Aspermonte. Next up, Spokane, Washington. Spokane. John Freeze. Yeah, they call him John Freeze. He keeps rolling down the road. He's an Idaho Vandal. As you see right there on the 90 score, great career there. All-American. I think he's in the College Football Hall of Fame for his time with the Vandals. And then two of these 91 Pro Set Platinums. Year before he became a starter, 56 years old, 11 seasons. Doesn't seem like he played that long. 11 seasons, NFL, 90 to 2000. First four with the Chargers after a great college career. And his numbers retired at Idaho. And he's, he is in the College Football Hall of Fame. Two weeks, 14, 15, 16 days, no fee, John. They call him the Freeze. Next up, Indianapolis, Indiana. Carl Erskine, speaking of the Brooklyn Dodgers, there he is on the 57 tops. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Carl Erskine, man, he's getting up there in age and still has a pretty clean autograph. And he's flipping you the bird, too, right there. <laughs> the 57 tops. Love that card. He's 97 years old. What? Born in 26, just turned 97, back in December. Wow. 
12 year career Brooklyn and uh, LA Dodgers he played most of his unlike uh, Bob Aspermonte there he played most of his career in Brooklyn and then uh, the last year and a half 58 59 half a season of 59 he was in LA really good career 122 and 78 overall all-star in 54 won a World Series in 55 and set a record had 14 strikeouts in the uh, World Series game that set a record through two no hitters in his career and he's a five dollar fee he donates those to the Special Olympics big supporter of the Special Olympics I think he had a child who was heavily involved in those games eight days eight days and I sent ten dollars two cards Carl Erskine Oisk San Diego California you know what that means, don't you? Tom House, did he sign the three bangers? He did, and he did. Nice. Good to get those back. We've gotten that completed before. That went from Kester to Britain to House. Uh, and then, of course, the 76 year with the Bravos. That's the year after he caught Hank Aaron's 715th home run down in the bullpen. They had their spaces marked off, little sections. They knew it was going to be a hot commodity, and it just happened to go to Tom House's section. Caught it and brought it back to Hank and presented it to Hank at home plate. The whole stadium celebrated. But yeah, that's one of his claims to fame. The other claim to fame is becoming a great pitching coach after his retirement. Earned his Ph.D. in sports psychology. Uh, great pitching coach, Nolan Ryan, credits him with a lot of his success. He's using different techniques like throwing footballs and still heavily involved in the uh, pitching process, using your body to maximize everything. Finished just 29 and 23 overall, kind of a reliever, lefty reliever. Always a quick return, 10 days, no fee. I think a long time ago I sent him a fee and he sent it right back to me. Another one from North Houston, Houston, Houston. North Houston, Texas. Hey, there's Big E. Oh, I saw that in the envelope. That is incredible. That is incredible. <laughs> Three inscriptions. Look at that. Become a little less legible than he used to be, but hey, he's getting up there in age. That is sweet. How old is he now? Born in 45. Turned 78 in November. And look at that. Initial season led the league in scoring 28.4 points a game and 14 rebounds. That's pretty sweet. 17 rebounds. Man. Star from the beginning. He was great in college, too, at University of Houston. Legendary college career. Man, just a living legend all together. 17 seasons, 68 to 84. 12 times an All Star. 12. Championship with the Bullets in 78. Led the league in scoring that rookie year and two-time rebounding. He's on the 50th anniversary all-time NBA team. He's on the 75th anniversary all-time NBA team. That is a slabable moment. Let's go to College Basketball Hall of Fame in 2006 and Hall of Fame in 1990, as you see there. 12-time All-Star, the Big E. Elvin Hayes. That's tremendous. Let's just stop the video right there. <laughs> We've got two more of these cards you've seen in recent mail days. I thought if this goes well, I'll do it two more times. It's $20 for an autograph, $5 per inscription. So this was $35 total. And the card was about anywhere from $18 to $22. Just, that's a wow. <laughs> that's a wow. Quick return too. 10, 11, 12 days. 12 days, I've sent $35 and I did send cash to uh, P.O. Box in the Houston area. I'll have to, wow, that's pretty sweet. Next one's up from North Houston as well. <laughs> it's not the Big E, but it's going to be Jeff Query. All right. Jeff Query got my note back and did not sign the index cards. Two of two, 89 score, rookie. Always a great set to get signed. That's the that's the uh, supplemental set, right? Yeah. Score supplemental and then the 90 pro set. Speed burner. He was 
NFL's fastest man in both 89 and 90. And yes, they used to have contests to determine that. And he won it both years, 89 and 90. So that's how quick he was. He played seven seasons altogether, 89 to 95. First three with the Packers. And that's about three weeks' time. 21, 22, 23 days, no fee for Jeff Query. Last one, North Texas, Dallas, Texas. We're dominating the state of Texas today. North Texas, Dallas, Texas. No index cards. And the governor, Jerry Brown. Got this Kusnick Hot Pack. Yep. Those 87 tops traded. 90 upper deck and 88 tops. And there he is, infielder, outfielder there. Versatile player. Marlins. Not bad. Second baseman, mostly. Ten seasons. Played 86 to 95. Four or five teams. First three with the Rangers. As you see, then with the Indians, Marlins. And been out just over three weeks. No fee there for the governor. Jerry Brown's got a cool autograph. Put him back here next to Oisk. So what'd you think? Obviously my favorite. Right there in front, the Big E. Woo! Pretty sweet. Tell me what you think. I'd love to read your comments. As always, hope you're having a great week and uh, that uh, tomorrow we'll have a mail day episode. Hopefully we can get that done for Friday afternoon and not Friday night or Saturday, but we'll see. Hopefully you'll be tuned in. If you haven't subscribed yet, click right there. That way you'll be notified anytime I do post a video, whether it be Saturday, Sunday, Monday, what have you. If you missed Monday's TTM video, I'll leave a link to that right there. Thanks for being with me today, and we will see you soon!